Hey everyone, my name is Corey, and today we're going to be looking at one of the packages within the Google NIC collection. So if you don't know, the Google NIC collection is a, now anyways, it's a free plugin um, for Adobe products, Photoshop, Bridge, and uh, a couple other um, of their programs, I'm sure. But it, um, it basically just allows you a couple different um, customization presets, and it's actually a very powerful tool, and it's free. So there's really no reason why you shouldn't get it. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking a look at one of the packages called uh, Color FX Pro 4. Um, so I've just opened up an image, basically standard stuff, make a copy of the background so we can play with it. So if we go over to Filter and the Nick Collection and Color FX Pro 4 and we click on it, it'll go ahead and load the image and open up this nice window here. And so this, what's really cool about this is it's super simple to use. They have what they, they call recipes already. So they have stuff that's pre-made. I'm not really a kind of the kind of person to use pre-made stuff. Like this glowing fade actually looks pretty cool. But what's, what's great, especially with uh, if you're doing photography, is doing your own kind of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all of this stuff that they've added. And so the first thing we're going to talk about is the loop and histogram thing at the bottom here. And so this is really helpful, um, especially with the loop. What it does is basically it allows you to pinpoint a certain location within the image and get a really magnified view of it. So if you hit this little pin button here and you can pin it to a certain location and you can just leave it there and look at it when you are applying different effects. And the histogram is, I'm sure you're aware, basically just the histogram of or the range of colors within your image. So if you click, you can see the red, green, blue, whites, and then a view of all of them. And so the color effects, basically, um, if I want to put it easily, is they was just like Instagram filters. Essentially, they have all the different kinds of effects we have, like... We can add a film grain effect, which I don't know why you'd want to do, but you can. You can play with the levels and curves, of course. You can um, color colorize it, color balances here, cross balance as well, um, and just a whole different uh, kinds of stuff. And what's cool is you can just kind of start layering stuff on top of each other. So if I wanted to add a vignette, uh, that is way too much vignette. No, that is not good either. Uh, let's just change the size. There we go. Opacity. Cool. Let's do that. And then what you can do is you can kind of minimize it here. Or maybe not. And just start adding more and more effects. So if we want to add a colorized filter, um, maybe I want to make it slightly more green. No, I don't like that. Kind of like a bluish. Yeah, that's a little bit better. And play with the strength a little bit. Let's turn it down just a tad. And what's cool is you can see how um, you adding these effects or filters actually changes the histogram. And you can even go in within your loop. And if you've pinpointed a certain location, you can look at it live. Um, and they have different settings for if you want to specifically do nature stuff. This is kind of the stuff you want to play with. Um, adding different filters and such. And, oh, I just removed everything, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really easy, and honestly, it's really fun uh, way of just playing with your photo and adding different filters on it. And it's really, it's, it's a really good way to make um, using Photoshop not as intimidating, because I know it can be with all the different uh, things you can do with it. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You can make your own recipes. You can save your recipes. You can use the ones that they have, um, et cetera, et cetera, uh, something like that. That looks very Instagram-like. Um, super cross pop. I actually kind of like that. It emphasizes the blacks, and yeah, that's really cool. Kind of like a pastel look there. But anyways, guys, um, it's free right now, this whole package, so I would definitely recommend getting it and playing around with it just a little bit, at least, seeing if you like it. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Thank you for watching. This has been Corey from the Techies.